Okay, folks, look, I'm going to do this video like this. We're going to get right into it. Today, we're making a deviled egg potato salad, right? Now, I want you guys to pay attention to what I got going on down here. Look, look at these ingredients right here. We got three different type of mustards, right? Listen, we just want to level it up. And this right here, we got to take our time so we can achieve, you know, the goal. And that's just to have like something like just way over the top with like a burst of a flavor, right? So listen, you guys can see I got these ingredients, eggs, you see I got mayo, all of that. Don't forget the full ingredient list will be on my website, which is smoking and grilling with ab.com and that's w-i-t-a-b.com. Okay, so I'm gonna start, you know, by peeling my potatoes, right? I got me a bowl right here with some uh, cold water in it. So that way when I peel them, they don't, you know, the outside gonna show brown, right? So I'll put them in there before I cut them down. But meanwhile, I got my water boiling, so let's go ahead and start to boil these eggs. All right, so now that I have this, you know, these done, right? You guys know how this works, right? Uh, just, I don't even know if I really needed to show that, but I just show everybody, you know, how I do it, right? So listen, the key is we want to cut these down and cube them, right? The thing is, all of these, well, let me tell you what the key is. The key is getting them all about the same size, right? So that way, when you put them in here, they're going to all be ready about at the same time. You don't want this piece like, ready to go because that means like some of the smaller pieces if they're not the same size they'll be like super mushy right so i'm gonna do it like this now listen the smaller you cut them the quicker they'll be ready all right so if you guys are wondering why i'm not sticking them in right now because i got my water already boiling right what i don't want to do is i don't want to start cooking some you know giving it a head start you know what i mean so and then you you figure you cut them down like how you want to the key is once they're done and you got them at the right size of how you like them you know what I mean? And then it, like if they're a little bit big, which is cool, because as we tumble them and make it, listen, they start to like get smaller and smaller. You know what I mean? So we want to do the fold method. But look at this right here. Ah, oh, yeah. Now you just want to be careful putting this in. You know what I mean? So you don't splash no hot water on yourself, right? Now you just want to be careful not to splash any hot water on yourself. Once you put your potatoes in, I'll turn this back up. Bring it to a boil. And then how do we know when this is going to be ready? We're going to check it with a toothpick, right? As soon as it becomes, well, we, the term we use is fork tender. Then we go from there. All right, so now I'm getting ready to do my celery. What I did was I transferred my potatoes over there. My eggs are already done. I already put cold water on these and I'm letting them just cool. You got to be able to, you know, handle them and touch them, right? So I'm getting ready to cut my celery here. And I like to just take off just the, the ends, right? Now, we put celery in there for the crunch and obviously, you know, for the taste, but it's up to you about the size that you guys want to use, right? It depends on how much texture you want, right? So for me, I pay attention to this part right here. I love the crunch and I love a certain size. You know what I mean? So that's probably it right there when I dice. So then what we're doing is we're just cutting this into thirds. You guys do it however you like on your end. Huh? Oh, didn't like that one. All right, there we go. And this would be good, right? And so then this part would be key. How big do you want your dice to be? For me, I like to get just a little bit of crunch. We're not cooking it. So it doesn't have to be like super big, right? But you see that right there? That's what we want to have. Trust me, folks. This is when your people tell you like, oh man, yours is so much better than, you know, the one I was making. You can tell them like, hey, it's really in when you add in your crunch, your celery and your onion. All right, so now look, these are green onions, right? What I'm going to do is cut this root off. Right? And I'm going to go ahead and cut these down just a little bit. You know what I mean? Uh, don't worry about it because I'm going to run the knife back over it and give it like a little bit of a, a dice. Now I want to go ahead and grate. I say grate, but it's really not great. I just want to do a fine dice. You know? So let's just do it like that. All right, so look, once you prep your ingredients, the rest of it is pretty much uh, easy, right? I already went ahead and peeled it. You guys know you gotta peel them, so it was no need to even show nothing like that, you know? So listen, what we gotta do though, we gotta cut this in half and take the yolk out and drop that in, right? But now we finna make the sauce, right? That's the most important thing, right? That and the texture of your potatoes. You want them to be, you want them to be firm, you know, yet soft enough that you can like almost take your tongue and mash it up to the roof of your mouth, right? So I'm not finna over talk it. We're getting ready to, you know, let's work folks. Now I'm gonna build everything inside of here, right? So I'm gonna start with my mayo. I'm getting low on mayo. 
But I can tell you this, I buy mail, you know, by the, by the jugs, right? So, now don't forget, I told you guys this recipe is on my website and I got measurements on it. But the most important thing is, that gets you in the ballpark. You know what I mean? Uh, more than the ballpark. That'll score your home run. But listen, if you want to win that game and have multi-hole runs, you guys take it, you know, and do it like you like it. You know what I mean? It depends on how much you like it to be on the wet side, how dry, yada, yada, yada. All right, let's talk about the sweet relish, right? You guys see in some of the videos when I don't have it, I always talk about the sweet salad cubes, right? I order this. I order it online because out here, for some reason, they just never, ever had it. I've only seen it out here in like a couple of times, but I suggest you guys get this because it's supposed to be, and I'm going to tell you why I say that. It's supposed to be a thicker, you know, dice, more like a cube, you know, like a larger cube, right? But if you look right here, look, it looked like to me they're getting smaller and smaller, right? So we might have to just start getting a sweet pickle and dicing them down ourselves, right? So we'll just call that about a tablespoon. It's okay when you get the juice in there too, because that's part of the, you know, the flavor, right? So we'll start with just like, I'm gonna start with three. All right, now look, let's 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 come back to this right here. I call this the elephant in the room. Three different mustards, right? Look, Dijon, stone ground, and then we got traditional yellow. We gonna need a little bit of all of that to make it right, right? So I'll start with my Dijon. I'm just gonna go ahead and add just a little. Uh, that's about enough right there. We just wanna have a tablespoon. That's it. But we want to like, you know, taste it. Here, when it comes to the stone ground, right? We just give it about a teaspoon. That's it right there, just to start. One of the things that I tell you I love about, you know, the deviled egg potato salad or just, the, you know, southern potato salad. Listen, we can all just make it the way we like it, right? Right, you see that right there? And you know that's got a little, it's the unique flavor that you get from these three that does it, folks. Now. I got it, let's see, let's look at it. I told you I was gonna need a little bit more mayo, which I knew already, but I'm looking at it right now. I'm probably gonna add maybe about half of what you guys saw that I put in there to that. All right, now look, I added a little bit more mayo to it. I want you guys to take a look at the consistency. You know what I mean? This is kind of like the consistency I like, right? You know, just before I put anything else in there, right? Now, I have put in what, four tablespoons of, uh, of you know, the salad cubes, right? So that's like a quarter cup. I know it to take some more. So instead of, before I didn't mind having the, you know, the sweet relish, you know, the juice that's in here. Now I'm gonna take it, right? And I kind of like just strain it a little bit and then add a couple more heaping tablespoons. You can see now it's starting to look a little bit bigger to me now, the salad cubes, right? That's what you want. It's that nice taste to it. Now, some of you guys I know say you use deal. Talk to me down in the comment section below and let me know. You know what I mean? Uh, I just, whenever I hear this, this right here with uh, with barbecue baked beans, some of them chickens that I had made, any of them grilled chickens, you know what I mean? Uh, this right here just say spring, summertime, you know, family and fun. All right, so look, I pulled out my tool right here, right? So this goes out to my grandmama. And again, I gotta say this, my disclaimer is, listen, this might not be the best way to do this, right? Cause I'm gonna cut in towards my palm you know what I mean? And you know, things like that. So when you see that, that you know, obviously you're not supposed to be cutting towards yourself. And I'm just gonna cut this in half, just like this, right? So once we have it, you know, and I'm being careful, I'm gonna take it, take the yolk, you know what I mean? Just use my little tasting spoon right here to like pop it out. I don't have to do it that way. I'm gonna show you another way, which is much, much quicker. You know, now that I've done that, look, you could just take it like this and just push it in. All right, so you see we got it, the egg yolks in here, right? Notice the bright yellow, right? It depends on how long you put them in there. I went and boiled my eggs for, you know, uh, just 12 minutes. As Soon as they were done at 12 minutes, I let them sit up for about a minute, and then I start running cold water on them. You know, because if you go too long, it'll become, uh, you know, that greenish color, right? But this right here, don't forget, when you're doing an egg salad, a deviled egg salad, it has like a really yellow, yellowy tone to it, right? So. I'm just gonna set this over here like that and I'm gonna grab my fork and I'm just gonna mash those yolks up. Okay, so you guys can see the color. I haven't ran my spatula in here right now. Not, not yet. I just wanted to make sure I got my yolks, you know, completely, you know, disintegrated in here and mixed, right? So what you wanna do now is you wanna taste. Here's where I would add, I would add uh, salt or pepper, right? So let's taste and see where we at. I 
I don't think it needs no salt. Only thing I want to do right now is to hit it with a little bit of this pepper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grind. And now we get everything up off of the edges and the bottom, right? And get it incorporated. We did say this is deviled egg potato salad, right? So now I'm just getting ready to cut. And this is the part that takes us back a little bit, right? You can cut them as big or as small as you would like. I cut mine all different sizes, you know what I mean? But you want to make sure that every fork or spoonful has, you know, egg in it, right? So we just add that. Hey, so look, you see that I already started mixing this, right? Look, I'm that's how eager I am to get some, right? So you just want to mix it together. And remember, we talked about the consistency earlier, right? All that comes into play because as you add, things start thickening up. And ooh, my goodness, man, I can't. I don't know what else to say. Now, you see that? Now I'm getting ready to come over here and get myself a handful of celery, right? You remember, look at the, look at the look at the size of the dice, right? I'm gonna go in here. Let's get one more, right? And then don't forget we had. Let me move this over. Don't forget we had that green onion, right? So I'm gonna take the green onion, and I'm gonna add all of this because you're gonna need every bit of it. And if anything, you might want to add some to it, right? But this right here is my way of making it. You know what I mean? Uh, and I'm gonna pat myself on the back and just go out on a limb and say, this is probably the way you gonna make it too. Right, so, all right, so we start incorporating this in together. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a handful of the red onion and bring this in here. Now I know you guys were saying in the beginning, like, hey man, why did he use red? I use red for two reasons. The very, I'm gonna say the main reason is I love red onion, that's for me. Number one, I love the flavor from it. And then two, this I guess it'd be one A, but you, no, we just keep it like that. And then two is, look at the color. Look, we got the yellow, then we got the red, you know, fine diced onion. And look at what it does to it. You see that? If you're looking at these right now, this is a telltale sign that you know they're right. You see how you see a little potato? See how it's on the edges? You see that? Listen, as you fold this over, once you start adding that into your mix, once you start folding it over, that kind of like just dissolves a little bit. They'll get a little smaller and it's starting to thicken it up, right? Now, we didn't add no salt, right? So what I want to do is, well, it doesn't make a difference. All of this is going in there anyway. So we just add it like this. Now I'm going to add just a little bit in the first time, and now I'm going to take it and I'm going to start folding these in together. So once we taste it again and you feel like it need a little salt, then you can go ahead and start adjusting by adding a pinch or two each time. And now, after folding everything in, I can just look at it. You know, after making this for years and years, now you want to go ahead and just add yourself some. For me, I'm going to add the rest of my celery. I love the crunch, folks. The crunch is what does it for me, along with the taste too. Now, one of the things that I don't do here is add like Creole kick or no Creole seasoning or anything like that to it. You guys can if you want that, but if you want something to be a little bit more on the authentic side right here, this is how you do it. All right, so obviously I got this spoon in my hand, right? So look, this is where after I taste it. You see, I didn't use everything that we prepped already. It's got the nice crunch to it. You can see egg, I added some more salt, some more pepper. And I tell you, even when I'm looking at this, I haven't sprinkled it with no paprika on, it, on the top yet, but I will in just one second. I like to get a little bit of this uh, fresh ground pepper in there. I like to see it, right? So now you taste, and then we figure out what do we want to do. Oh, I gotta get some egg. Now don't forget, I haven't chilled this or anything like that. We want to put this in the refrigerator. At least that just get nice and cold, because that's the way you serve it. But. Mm. I don't know if my mic is picking up that crunch. <laughs> but that crunch is everything, folks. Now, it's up to you. You guys can add anything you want to add to it right now, but I got you in the game, gave you your first score. You know what I mean? So let me know down in the comment section what would you do. I'm going to put this in a bowl, take some pictures, and guess what, folks? I'm out. <laughs>